narrative. Let the scene ain't leave no witnesses. My name must be Abraham. Lincoln, I'm innocent. Life's too short, you should be getting it. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. So the Tampa Bay Rays are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Drew Rasmussen. What do you look for here? Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact. They were able to score a couple of runs. But outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. All right, ready to go here. Here's Tim Anderson. First pitch, 110. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play. Got him swinging. Andrew Benintendi steps up. That one's in there 0 and 1. The Red Sox made Andrew Benintendi the seventh overall pick in 2015 and remember he won the Golden Spikes Award for the top college player oh, that year at the University of Arkansas he had two guys in his conference that were drafted ahead of him Alex Bregman who went second overall from LSU Dansby Swanson who went first overall out of Vanderbilt well anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a so and there's the third out that'll do it for the inning down in order go the White Sox and now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark and starting this one, Michael Kopech. What do we have on him? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things and out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. There's a strike. That's oh. off the mark. And a count two and one. And a pitch. Hard hit left side. The throw to first. Out. One up, one down. Batting second. The right field. Luke Rayleigh will hit next. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Ball one there. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Kicks and fires. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. High fly ball out into left center field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And there are two outs. Batting third. The first baseman. Yandy. Two outs, base is empty. Yandy Diaz now. Coming off a big one yesterday where he knocked in five. In there and it's 0-1. 
Not oh, sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that is that. Rays held in check here. Scoreless after one. Top of the second, and Leading now it's Luis right. Robert. The center fielder, Luis. And the right-hander back to work. That's a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Siri puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. That is it. The right fielder, number 32. Now it's Gavin. the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Two for nine so far in the series. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. That is it. The first baseman, number 25. Andrew Vaughn now. Three for nine of the series coming in. Started to swing, held up. One ball, no strike. And there's the strike. Second inning here, no score. Next Ball offering here. is downstairs. Swings through that one for strike two. And the right hander deals. Center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Nothing doing for the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Tropicana Field. Bottom of the inning. Lau at the plate. The pitch. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Line drive, caught! Batting fit. Here's Wander shot. Franco. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, oh, now. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. <laughs> Isaac Paredes now. Two for six so far in the series. And the ball first one. pitch misses for ball one. Ground ball up the middle. Anderson gets it to first. That is the inning. Down in order go the Rays. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, Leading and now right it's back. switch hitting third baseman, third baseman Yoan Moncada Yoan and a pitch. And that strike. one is in for a strike. Moncada oh, getting the start at third, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Stays alive. The 0 2. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Now he'll turn for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run yeah. of the ball game. Elvis Andrews in the box now. No balls and a strike. Top of the third, no score. 
Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Bounce to the right. And it gets by him. Here's the throw to the plate. In there. He scores. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. That one's in there, 0 1. Andrews on at first. Nobody out. This one popped up. Low makes the play, and there's one down. And the batter will be now the shortstop, Tim the Anderson. Shortstop. Tim Anderson. And first offering is fouled off. Anderson goes six foot one, 29 years old, and he's won a silver slugger ah. in the American League. Strike two. On the ground to third, might be two. Over to second for one. To Diaz, that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. You're dialed into the show. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's gonna be Christian Bettencourt. And the pitch. Kopech in his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is down low. And another ball. And he deals. And that one in the air, center field. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Batting it. No left field. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. In there for strike one. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Next offering upstairs. And the righty deals. That one you missed. Won. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And now it's Jose Siri. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And that's in there for strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Here's the 0-2. And now one and two. In the dirt. Grandal whips it to first. Third out. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. And a foul ball. The pitch. That's out to center field. Siri makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next to Chicago. The Here's Aloy Jimenez. Aloy He's hitting Jimenez. for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. 
Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Got him. Now two away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Luis Robert now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Sheets batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Grounded out his first time up. And he grounds one to the right side. Lau sends it to first, and that's the third out. The White Sox leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Randy or Rosarena. Kopech back to work. There's a strike. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The 1-1. One -one. And downstairs. Two balls, one strike. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch now out when they're on the mound the because right if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And he'll one. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Everything came together for him. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Yandy Diaz digs in now. That's in for a strike. Rayleigh, the runner at second with one away. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And now it's Brandon Lau. 0 for 1 so far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Laser could be extra bases. Around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 1 1. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. A well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So, runner at second, two down. 
Now up for Tampa Bay, Wander Franco struck out swinging his first time. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Runner at second, two down. Towards first, Vaughn. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Franco gone on the play. That's out number three. Rays get an RBI double. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. We the hardest in the room, that's a heavy And we ready to go. We done put in the work. And we ready to show. Better tell them right now that we... And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. There's a strike. You know, these White Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, I can't argue with that one. And clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it and kind of a gift at a two strike count but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. This one lifted in the air left field. Low makes the grab and there's two gone. Now batting the second baseman Elvis. Andrews. Here's Elvis Andrews singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that one lifted in the air center field. Siri settles under it and makes the catch. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Third baseman. The line in the pitch. Just missed. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Next offering is in for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And a one-two. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Popped up right side and just foul. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Up next for Tampa Bay. No left field. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. Grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. And it's one and one. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. And there's a the ball. On the ground, Andrews. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for Tampa. Score remains tied 1-1. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now at the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And first offering is fouled off at the belt and fires. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one-two. 
Got him. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now, Tim Anderson. Shortstop. Tim Anderson. In there, and it's 0-1. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Low makes the grab for the second out. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. A one down. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Just could not get in sync and even guess right. When you talk about guessing in the game, it's really anticipation and sort of going with what the highest probability pitch, velocity, location at that point of the at-bat is. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Jimenez, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Benintendi leads off first with two down to the inning. Foul ball there. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Kicks and deals. Up the middle. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one hit is all they get. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. All tied, 1-1. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom of the sixth. Now it's the power-speed combo. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And he deals. And one oh. and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. A Rosarena up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Two up, two down. Up next for Tampa Bay, the right fielder. Here's a speed threat, Luke Rayleigh. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Two outs. Ball. One, two. Here's a one, two. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Ray's held in check here. Score remains deadlocked at one. Now on the mound for the Rays, Ryan Thompson. He last pitched two days ago. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Bronco whips it across. One up, one down. 
the right fielder, number 32, Gavin. So Sheets. digging in, Gavin Sheets. Oh. And that's in there for strike one. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. And it gets by him. And he's into second base with one away as the go ahead run. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Go ahead, run on base. And next to hit for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. First offering misses badly for ball one. The other way, makes the catch for the out. Here is Yoan Moncada. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's the strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. A new arm into the game, the righty, Joe Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Chicago. Number and stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And a pitch. There's a strike. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Jose Ruiz preparing to come on if needed. Pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Swing, and he breaks his back. Grabs it barehanded, and he beats it. He's safe. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. There's a strike. Into center. Robert hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting Wander Franco. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Now the 0-1. And that one fouled off. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. One, two. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. To the right side. That's a base hit. And the go ahead run into scoring position. One away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Stepping in, Isaac Paredes. 
in there and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boo. Swung out, belted. Deep left field. That one on its way. This place is absolutely loving it. His second of the year, it's 4-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. White Sox going with a new arm, Jose Ruiz. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 66, Jose Ruiz. Christian Bethencourt now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. Swings through that. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Next pitch has popped up. He's there. He's got it. That's out number two. That hanging breaking ball Go looks back. so juicy Go to the hitter, field. Ed. Nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Here comes the 0 1. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Yeah, that One, skips two. in the dirt. That misses, and it's 2 and 2. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Elvis Andrews. The right-hander back to work. No. Ball one, no strikes. One ball. Well, it's critical one right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, trying to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. No, and it is two and one. In the air, left side. Low has it sized up. One away. Up next for Chicago, the catcher. Yasmani. And now up to Grandal. the plate, Yasmani Grandal. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And ball one. Next pitch is downstairs. 
swing and a miss. Now, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. On the ground, and that one handled to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really. At the play, Tim Anderson swings and misses. And that is strike one. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier to get to the ninth. Get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air, right field. Squeezes it, two down. Benintendi up here. Number 23, Andrew Benintendi. First offering, and it just misses. That one fouled off. Grandal off of first with two away. Check swing. He held up. Ball two. And that one is lifted in the air. And that is the third out of the inning. So a man left for the White Sox, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Leading now up for Tampa Rams. Bay, Jose Siri. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Pitch misses inside. And And there's a strike. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Ruiz keeping an eye on him. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Robert makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The throw is wild and it gets away. Now batting. The right fielder, Luke. And at first, and now the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielder. And a pitch. Outside. Throw to first. Siri gets back easily. One, two. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Knocks it down. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right base there. Base it just looks two. like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of.
Diaz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. To third. That's the third out. out. Inning over. One left for Tampa, but they lead it four to one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Adam. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high scores. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Jimenez stands in now and watches strike one. Pitch misses there. One and one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Swings through that one out in front that time. Fouls it off, still one and two. Good eye right there. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. The next offering oh, misses, and the count's full. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Robert, batting with one down, takes a strike. And takes low for ball one. One ball, one strike. Bounced up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The right fielder, number 32. Now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. That one to first. Sneaks through, base hit. Robert makes the turn at second. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing and not get beat by that pitch. Adam, 31 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Now batting, the third base Here oh, is Moncada. Line, and that's a base hit. One runs in, fires to the plate. Safe. And now they trail by one. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. And here it comes. Ripped to third and caught. And here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, trying to deliver as the hero. High fly ball down the left field line. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays extend their winning streak to five in a row. For a really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out and... You know, from the first game of this series, really had a determination to, to play fundamentally sound baseball. They came up with the big hit when they needed it. Pitchers came in, they got the big outs when they needed it. So all the way around, a uh, collective effort that has produced a nice little series sweep. And the final score here, 4-3. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.
The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Four runs on six hits, one error. They left two men on base. Yeah. Yeah. For the White Sox.